everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it's that time again, time to take up another champion. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, feel free to leave a comment below with your guess. Let me know who you think I'm about to take up right now. Uh, but we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two. One. Hyperion! All right, so I don't think anybody really needs to be told why I'm ranking up Hyperion. Uh, but quite frankly, he's a beast. He is more versatile than people might think. He's not just purely damage. He doesn't really need to be awakened, but his awakened ability does help. Um, you can see I'm just clearing out some of my ISO. I, I tend to have a lot, a lot of ISO. But in any case, he's pretty straightforward to use. And in the past, I remember fighting, there was a boss, I can't remember if it was in the variant or, I think it was in one of the variants, or it might've been a temporary challenge. But you had to fight this guy that evaded like crazy. And there were a lot of different nodes, but it turned out Hyperion spamming his special one actually worked very well. Because one of the things about the special one uh, is that his special one pushes you back. So he would fire it off. If the opponent evaded it, they couldn't rush in and punish it. So that was the thing about his special one. It couldn't be punished, so you could just keep spamming it. And he has a power gain, so you didn't even have to hit your opponent in order to get power. So you just basically had to dance around, dance around until you had a special one, fire it off, uh, try to intercept with it if you could. If you missed, dance around, dance around until you had another special one, and just wash, rinse, and repeat. So he actually is quite good. Uh, his damage ramps up with Furies. He's great for the buffed up uh, node. So yeah, I had to take him up. Now I'm only taking him up to uh, rank two right now. And I thought, I thought really hard about taking him all the way up to rank three, but I've been taking up so many different uh, Cosmic Champions recently, and I need to kind of calm down because I'm working through uh, Act 7 right now, uh, Exploration. I haven't done 7.4 yet, but I'm exploring 7.2. I'll do 7.3, and then I'll complete it and explore 7.4. And at that point, I'm going to get a three to four rank up gem. Don't know what class I'm going to get. So if I get a cosmic, for example, that'll be great. But if I don't get a cosmic, I do have other cosmics I might want to take up to rank four. So uh, I'm trying to calm down a little bit on the cosmics. All right, let's take this rank two into a realm of legends and uh, see what he can do. All right. We're going to go into Realm of Legends, uh, but a brief word about the synergies. Mainly, they are to increase his buff duration. Uh, Nick Fury, I believe, does increase for Furies. And then I have Captain America and Thor. They increase uh, Cosmic Champion's buff duration. All right, so that's pretty much uh, what I have going on right there. All right, um, if he was awakened... It'd be even better uh, because his buffs would last longer. But let's do it. It's pretty straightforward. You want to build up the Furies. It's a little RNG. You can see that his power gain lasted a little long. Okay. Oh, I hate when uh, Winter Soldier is doing this. He plays passively. All right, so we have five Furies. 
hit him a little bit with that. See if we can build up some more. Now he wants to do that, huh? Look at this. Whatever he can do to keep me from firing that special two. Come on. Okay, five again. I want to start uh, hitting him with that special two if I can. Let's skip this for right now. Yeah, I knew he was going to fire that off right away. Come on. Yeah, this, this Winter Soldier, he does not like to play right. <laughs> he sure don't. He's passive when you don't want him to be. And then he's crazy aggressive when you don't want him to be. All right, here we go. Okay, we got the stun. Look at that damage. Didn't get that stun that time, but that was a nice uh, bit of damage, though. Another special two. Got the stun that time. Hit him with that special one. And he's done. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's do another fight. Because he can be fun. I'm definitely thinking of taking him to rank three. Come on. And I don't know, some of you may not know that he can actually uh, heal. Hyperion can actually heal up. Mm -hmm. There we go. See his heal buff? You know, a lot of people don't realize he can heal. Get the stun. Yes. Nasty. I'm not building up uh, a lot of furies right now. Okay. Seven Furies. Nice. Look at that damage. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He's an old champ, but he still got it. That was some nasty damage right there. And she's down. All right, guys. That's going to do it. Uh, can't wait to see what he looks like uh, ranked up a little bit more. Definitely would like to get him awakened so that his buffs can last a little bit longer. But take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, I know that uh, there's a little discussion about whether um, he should be high on anyone's uh, ranking. He's still a beast. He's still a beast, and he has a lot more uh, utility than I think some people realize. But anyway, take care. 
And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.